Hello, friends. Of course, I've been thinking of you all this past week, 10 days, as we have just watched as indeed, I would say, that the Spirit has moved into town and is creating a new world. And that with all of this chaos, what may seem like chaos, that God is creating, is creating a new world. A world in which, yes, 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 all people, all people are treated equally. All people are given the right to live an abundant and free life. I remember one time when I was a class I was in, it was a counseling class, and we had learned this kind of deep meditative work to discern what was going on in the depths of our souls. And so before we could teach it to others, we had to experiment and work on it with amongst ourselves. And I was working with a woman one time, and she identified that at her core, down in the depths of her soul, she didn't believe that she mattered. She said, I, I want to matter. It's as if when I don't matter, I, I don't have matter. I, I'm, I'm a nothing. And I, as tears came down her face, she just said, I just want to matter. And I have thought of that as, and I think of her every time when I hear black lives matter this deep yearning just to matter, to have matter, not to be invisible, as if that life weren't even there, that precious life that God has imbued with talents and gifts and joy and sorrow and that all the fullness of life, that life matters. So I pray, I pray for our country. I pray for those protesters that come out night after night after night, day after day after day. We saw three young people just out on the street corner out in Vermilion, Ohio last night with their signs, we are one. I pray for each one who has the courage to stand up and to bow down to speak out that all lives matter. And especially as we work against the racism in this country that is embedded in this country, that we especially say black lives matter. And I pray for you as you are going through this time and watching the television news night after night after night that we will be called to be together, that we will be called to pray in a new way, that we will be called to pray to unite, that we may become one people, that we will pray that indeed God is creating a new world even before our very eyes, and that we will be a part of that new creation. Amen, amen, and amen. We've had very sweet and soulful and honest conversations on Sunday mornings. And so I invite you to come and join us at Amistad Chapel, United Church of Christ. You'll find our information on the website, amistadchapel.org, and on our Facebook page, Amistad Chapel, United Church of Christ. Or always feel free to email me, Janet. Amistad Chapel, UCC at gmail.com. Blessings, my friends. Blessings and blessings and blessings are with us always. May we claim them and walk through it. Amen.